The Luanda National Park is situated in Central Africa, in southern Malawi. The mighty Shire River forms a natural border to the west. In the northern section of the park, one of the few camps, Mvu Camp, is situated by a tranquil lagoon alongside the riverbank. This is Malawi's best known game reserve. Each year, the Shire River makes its own vital contribution to the breeding season. Until 1962, unrestricted poaching and hunting almost entirely eradicated the wildlife population of this region. In 1969, a game reserve was created, ably assisted by the local Yao chief. In 1973, it was designated as a national park. A protected refuge and natural paradise. Here, the wildlife is safe and reproduces accordingly. Man is offering a helping hand to undo the mistakes of bygone times. The Shire River is the region's lifeline and more than 2,000 hippos inhabit a 40-kilometer section of the park. For the animals, the river is a source of both drinking water and food. Also, the park's elephants are no longer slaughtered for their valuable tusks, and their numbers too are increasing. The sanctuary is working well. Young bulls playfully carry out their first power struggles. The beauty of nature can be observed from a boat. The park's few lodges blend well into the surroundings. This female warthog is suckling her young. The park can also be explored by jeep. East of the river is the vegetation of the hot lowlands of Shire. Sandy soil, sausage trees and euphorbias under which the monkeys can relax. Various varieties of antelope graze on the riverbank. For the elephants, green leaves are a highly prized delicacy, even if high up in the trees. The 
there are several pathways. A motor vehicle is another good way in which the wildlife can be observed, such as this group of warthogs who are leisurely crossing the treeless prairie. The Lewande National Park measures 548 square kilometers, which, in addition to much river silt, contains particularly dry savannas and bushland. In between, there are baobab trees, giant cacti, candelabrum, and miombo trees plus small watering holes which attract animals in large numbers. The park rangers know each corner of the park. At the park's watering holes, groups of animals repeatedly gather to drink, an ideal opportunity to observe animals in the wild. After a drink, a well-earned rest. Herds of elephants move through the landscape of the park, in which no tree is safe from their feeding habits. They are particularly attracted to the water holes. They quench their thirst, but also use the mud of the riverbank to protect their sensitive skin from the scorching hot sun. Large groups of antelope arrive at the water hole. The elephants accept them and go about their body care. When in 1977 around 200 of these giants were estimated to inhabit the park, today's population of 900 was but a fanciful dream. Where the Shire River flows from Lake Malombe and meets with the park, there's an impressive baobab tree, which the natives worship but also fear. The devil is said to have planted the baobab upside down. When in 1868 Captain Henry Faulkner was searching for Dr. Livingston, he was enthralled by this region. Thankfully, Lewanda Sanctuary is now a natural paradise once more.